People say we have the best health care. We have the best health care money can buy. And if you don't have the money, you can't buy it and you don't have it. Yep. Most people do believe that capitalism as we know it can and should work in health insurance and health care. The problem is it does not work like it does in other sectors of the economy. What we have in health insurance is a classic example of market failure. There's actually not an incentive for a company to rush in and get you care when you need it. In fact, it's the opposite. They're going to deny life-saving care in order to get that profit. I love my job, I love what I do, I love caring for my patients, but my hands are tied a lot of the time when people are the sickest and the most vulnerable. We pay more in America for our health care than almost anybody in the world for worse results. We have $4 trillion in the American health care system annually in the United States, which is by far more than any other country. The point is that insurance companies do exceedingly well in this country, but one of the ways they do well is by charging us more for policies that every year are of less and less value. They would rather make a sale than take care of a patient. We know all of us, if they say they don't believe anything's wrong, they're lying. All of us know something is wrong with the system. When, you know, Republicans and Democrats and socialists and libertarians all realize that it's not just the red team that's standing in the way of healthcare, it's also the blue team. It's much easier to all come together and be like, oh yeah, <laughs> these politicians are screwing all of us. No wife should ever have to choose between whether we're gonna go in debt, which we are now, which we'll have to live with, or let my husband die. And I had to make the conscious decision to drive home and tell my wife our boy was dead because he missed a $20 fucking payment. I vowed at his funeral that I'm going to make our lawmakers look me in the eye and see the consequences of their decisions. When we devalue human life to the point where we don't even care that people are dying, then all of us are worth less as a whole. We still don't have health care. We have Democrats who control all houses, and 68,000 people are still going to die this year. In my view, we are at a real tipping point. The way we fight back and the way you beat corporate power is with people power. When we start doing this great thing of bringing health care through single payer financing to every American and help each other, we will heal the wounds and the fissures that are currently in the body politic of the United States of America. Great things happen when people come together. We need a political revolution, peaceful revolution. Just know you're going to have a David and Goliath situation on your hands, but David can win. Save me Could you save me one more time